Hey, my name is Chris Kalbeck here at MMC Inc. in Belgrade, Montana. I'm going to put on a demonstration of our hammer union grinder. Uh, companies in the past used grinding discs and grinding wheels to clean these up and square them up. That's why we invented this machine to self-contain it and safely square it up to get rid of these sharp burrs and to do it in a timely and safe fashion. So I'll start the demonstration off with the number two nut. Grab the number two base plate, number two nut itself, the top plate, and the hex nut. We'll finger tighten the hex nut. And before we snug it up with the wrench, we want to make sure one of these three wings are lined up with the center rotation, allowing both these discs to square us up. Once that's achieved, we'll snug it up with the wrench. And now we're going to set each motor. For the number two nut, we're going to start with this one spacer. And then we'll move this motor to the number two position. Then we'll test it. Bring this in a smidgen. Okay, looks good. We'll close the hood. Turn the power on, turn on the first grinder, the second grinder, and then the hydraulic motor. We'll bring both grinders in. Once they're engaged, we'll start the rotation. As you can see, all the sparks are fully contained within the hood. There's a nice clearing view so you can see what's going on. You don't have to breathe this dust and it doesn't get all over. There's a nice trap door on the bottom that you can collect all the dust. Once one full revolution is complete, we can back off each cylinder and turn it a third of a turn. And then we'll bring them back in. Once I release this latch, it'll continue the rotation. This is much more time efficient and safer than grinding by hand. You're not exposed to the particles flying at you and you can't risk cutting your hand out here. We'll go around twice for this and I'll show you how well it does. Sometimes you have to go around once, sometimes twice depending on the severity of the damage of the nut. We'll stop it here. Back off each motor. We'll wait for the disc to stop spinning, and then we'll lift the hood. And it's pretty cool, like it, it doesn't get hot, and it does a nice job squaring it up, doesn't leave any burrs or sharp edges. Another great thing about this machine is it is very easy to switch from any size nut. So now we'll switch to a number four, which is the larger of the three. Again, we're going to make sure one of these three wings is lined up so it gets squared up properly. Then we'll tighten her up. And then set it. For number four, it takes all three spacers on that motor. And then we move it to a number four here. And we'll test to see how it lines out. Looks pretty good. We'll back them off. We'll close the hood. Turn on grinder one, two. Hydraulic motor and bring them in. Once they're engaged, we'll start the rotation.
see how this one turned out. Again, you can see how that was sharp and now it's nice and square. Can't cut your fingers. Nice solid surface to reuse again and again. Now I'll demonstrate on a number three knife. I'll just do one rotation on this. As you can see, it's pretty chewed up. We'll see how it cleans up. Only need the two spacers for the number three. I'm gonna adjust this to the number three. Check it. Looks good, we'll back them off. We'll close the hood. Power it on. We'll bring them in. The rotation. I'm only going to rotate around once to see how good of a job it does doing it only once. All right, as you can see, it did an excellent job squaring it up, getting rid of all those sharp edges and burrs. Next, we have our thread cleaning system with the attached vacuum and foot pedal. The vacuum and foot pedal can be supplied by us or the customer can have the option to purchase it separate. In our cleaning canister here, we have numbers for the different size nuts, the number four, three, and two. For this demonstration, we're gonna do a number three. As you can see, the inside threads are pretty rusty. We center that up and secure each of the three jaws. Next, we grab our brush. Our brush has a unique safety feature allowing you to not get your hand anywhere around the brush. And it requires both hands to operate. With the cleaning canister and vacuum, it keeps all the dust and dirt and grime in this central area and contains it all in the vacuum. Now we can switch to number four. This also can be purchased separately as a bench model and a permanent model, or as you see here, attached to our grinder system.